Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. This week we're doing a very simple Christmas ornament DIY. This is for creating those flocked and frosted looking ornaments. And um, this was such a fun project. I learned a lot as I did this. So I'm gonna share all of my tips and tricks in this video with you. The first thing was I learned as I was doing this that I should have chosen a base color ornament that was closer to what I was painting. But it really doesn't matter. You could start with a clear bulb. You could start with any color bulb. Doesn't really matter. I bought these inexpensive ornaments at Michael's. I chose a rose gold paint and the end result was perfect. What I was looking for was a very soft pinkish rose color. So you paint your first coat on the bulb and then you want to let that thoroughly dry. Um, I noticed as I worked my way through this that I would not have had to brush the paint, but I could have kind of dabbed it on or tapped it on um, with my little sponge and it would have worked fine. I did try several different brushes and I realized that this sponge brush worked the best. So then I used um, paint brushes and knives and I put them in cups and I let them dry thoroughly. To speed up the process, I did go get my blow dryer and I dried some of them that way and it helped a lot. And we kind of chuckled as we were making these and said they looked like onion bulbs. <laughs> they kind of do, don't they? <laughs> oh, but I promise they won't look like onions when they're done. So here I am blow drying them just to speed it up so we could get all of the first coat thoroughly dry before you paint your second coat. That is a very important part of this process. If it's not dry, the paint's going to move around and it's going to come off and you're going to be unhappy. Then I grabbed my flower and I lightly dusted after the second coat was painted and while it's completely wet you dust on your flower and then you want to just tap the extra residue off this is what creates that soft flocked look or kind of a frosted look and it just was it's kind of an experimental thing you know it's trial and error if you don't get everything you want the way you could always paint it again and redo it but I promise it's such a neat process to watch. You tap all the excess flour off and you end up with such a pretty look to these ornaments. And you do want to kind of let it dry before you go and touch it or anything. And if you don't get the flour where you want, I sprinkled it on by myself because sometimes I couldn't get the bulb to stay where I want it. And I even dabbed it in the flour a little bit, which I Ideally, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I did do it a little bit. And then um, I also used the blow dryer a little bit to dry, blow the excess off. But the best thing was to do a dry brush technique here where you just dry brush your excess flour off. And the end result is this pretty flocked and sort of... Um, you know, very powdery looking finish on your ornaments. I just think they're so pretty. They look frosted to me and I, I love this. Um, they look great on the tree. Um, they were just such a pretty addition. I wanted to do more, but this was the first set of eight, I think that I did and I just love it. Let them dry all the way. Um, if you have to go back and touch up any area, just touch up with some paint, sprinkle flour on again, and um, that's how you achieve this pretty look. I would have also painted my um, ends to the bulbs. I didn't really like the silver, but for the sake of this video, I just left them silver. And um, yeah, I think these are so cute. So give it a shot try it let me know how it turns out for you and um, i think that you will enjoy this project i think they're really really beautiful 
And as always, thank you so much for being here. I love the feedback. So please comment if you try this project. Um, I do want to know how you liked it, how it turned out for you. Um, and here are uh, a few glimpses of my Christmas tree so that you can see how it looks like on my tree.